Hello, my name is Nicole Pineda Latar and today I'm going to perform a current demonstration about assisting a patient with ambulation using crutches. Review the medical record and nursing plan of care for conditions that may influence the patient's ability to move and ambulate. Assess for tubes, IV lines, incisions or equipment that may alter the procedure for ambulation. Assess the patient's knowledge and previous experience regarding the use of crutches. Then, lastly, determine that the appropriate size scratch has been obtained. Then, perform hand hygiene. This is to prevent the spread of microorganisms. Then, put on gloves and or other PPE as indicated. Then, identify the patient, explain the procedure to the patient, tell the patient to report any feelings of dizziness, weakness, or shortness of breath while walking. Decide how far to walk. Then lastly, encourage the patient to make use of the stand assist device, if available. Assist the patient to stand direct, face forward in the tripod position. This means the patient holds the crutches 12 inches in front of and 12 inches to the side of each foot. For the four-point guide, have the patient move the right crutch forward 12 inches and then move the left foot forward to the level of the right crutch. Then, have the patient move the left crutch forward 12 inches and then move the right foot forward to the level of the left crutch. For the three-point guide, have the patient move the affected leg and both crutches forward about 12 inches. Have the patient move the stronger leg forward to the level of the crutches. For the two-point guide, have the patient move the left crutch and the right foot forward about 12 inches at the same time. Then, have the patient move the right crutch and left leg forward to the level of the left crutch at the same time. For the swing to gate, have the patient move both crutches forward about 12 inches. Then help the patient lift the legs and swing them to the crutches, supporting his or her body weight on the crutches. Continue with ambulation for the planned distance and time. Return the patient to the bed or chair based on the patient's tolerance and condition, ensuring that the patient is comfortable. Make sure call bell and other necessary items are within easy reach. Then, lastly, remove PPE if used, then la and then perform hand hygiene.